today we have a couple of tips about the Z Modeler brush. Uh, I'm just going to isolate this object here and zoom in. This is mirrored on the Z axis. Yeah. Uh, so if you happen to have moved some points out of here, often what can happen is you'll do a mirror and weld on the Z axis, as you can see here, and you'll get this. And sometimes you'll try and weld these points together again or collapse edges or delete edges or whatever like so the easiest fix for this really knowing that everything on this side is going to mirror onto this side the easiest fix for this is just to fix this side so anything that's pulled over here once you hit mirror and weld it will rebuild and that's the fix so rather than rather than stitching stuff just pull one over it doesn't really matter where because once as soon as you do your mirror and weld it's going to it's going to fix that next tip is when you're using QMesh You'll see that every time you click it, you'll get the same poly, poly group. The next time if you click, if you hold down Alt, you'll get an alternate version. So if you hold down and, and click Alt, and as long as you keep tapping, it'll keep on changing the poly group until you find the color that you like or if it's useful for you. So just do it when you need to, and that way you can isolate poly groups to do specific tasks that you might need. I'm just going to undo that. The last tip is inserting extra loops if you have built this object and then you decide oh i actually needed more divisions but i don't want to do a whole divide on the whole thing you can hover over a given edge and choose instead of the insert a single edge loop which is the default action you can choose multiple edge loops and instead of specifying or instead of an interactive resolution you can specify and if you type in one here uh, you'll see that you'll now insert edge loops and it'll always be perfectly centered between two given edges. This doesn't, however, change the shape, and often you'll want to change the shape by turning on smooth elevation. When you click this now, it will actually try and conform this to the shape that you already have, retaining the edge flow. Bye. Oh, by the way, YouTube is telling me to ask you guys to subscribe, so please do. All right, bye.